What is the fight, flight, freeze response? Our survival is dependent upon self-protection mechanisms. The fight, flight, freeze response is the body's natural reaction to dangerous situations. Our primal instinct is to defend ourselves through fight, engaging in the conflict, flight, running away or leaving, or freeze, remaining as still and quiet as possible. When the amygdala, our body's center for emotional response, senses danger, it sets off alarms within the body and sends the body into survival mode. Sometimes the mind can misinterpret a situation, causing a false alarm. This is when there is no real danger, but the body's fight, flight, or freeze response has been activated. Like when that startling snake turns out to be a hose, or the spider on your arm is simply a piece of lint. Fight, flight, or freeze is a biological response that can impact the entire body. Breathing becomes shallow, and can cause hyperventilation. The heart starts to race, and many people experience tightness in their chest. While these symptoms can feel like a serious cardiac event, many times they can be relieved through mindfulness and breathing exercises. As the body prepares for action, blood flow is diverted to the major muscle groups and away from our digestive system. This is why you may feel an urgency to use the restroom in an anxious situation. Dry mouth, along with nausea or upset stomach, are common as well. Blood also rushes away from our extremities, leaving our hands cold but sweaty due to the body's attempt to remain cool. The body can begin to tremble and shake, leaving legs and hands feeling weak. During a fight, flight, or freeze response, our brains focus on the negative memories and experiences. This is likely in an effort to avoid danger and negative outcomes. The fight, flight, freeze response reduces our ability to recognize facial expressions. This can have a significantly negative impact on effective communication. Many people feel as though they may faint when their bodies are in fight, flight, freeze. However, fainting is typically caused by a dramatic drop in blood pressure. The fight, flight, freeze response actually increases the heart rate and blood pressure, making it nearly impossible to faint in these situations. Anxiety and stress impact the brain's ability to decipher false activations of the fight-flight-freeze response, causing them to become more frequent. Knowing the symptoms of false activations makes it easier to recognize and reduce their effects. There are exercises and coping skills to help reduce your body's false activations and restore its natural level of response.